What is up guys, it's your boy, The Real Deal, back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. And today we are going to be doing a guide on Venomage. Now Venomage, wow, I slept on this champion for a long time and he is an absolute beast. I mean, he can solo a lot of content, he's great for speedruns in Ice Golem. And yeah, I've just been blown away by this guy. Um, so let's check him out. Where are you, my friend? Where are you? There you are. So I wasn't sure if this was a bro or a ho, um, but well, they just look quite feminine to me. Um, but if you flip them to the side, you can see they've got a flat chest and also they've got two balls. So they are definitely a dude. Um, yeah, so we'll have a look at their gear, skills and masteries. So gear, um, HP gloves, HP chest, and ideally you'd like HP boots. Unfortunately, I didn't have the substats of speed to reach it, uh, reach the stats that are required. And then we've got a resistance banner. Doesn't have any resistance, can be accuracy, depends what you need. Uh, defense uh, amulet, and then a defense ring. And the substats you're just looking for are speed, accuracy, uh, defense, and resistance. So total stats, 56k HP. Uh, 2.9 defense, 227 speed, um, and just to mention as well, I've not glyphed out my speed. Um, I could do that, but you, you to be honest, you should always, if you can, save your speed glyphs for arena champions um, and anywhere else that's like really important in the game. Um, resistance 328 and accuracy 238. So I've gone a little bit overkill. Um, 250 resistance should be enough, but I've gone 328. Just always better to have more. Um, and then accuracy, you just need 200 and above. Skills, so Venomage has a lot in his kit. Um, he's got an accuracy aura. So if you put him in the lead, he's gonna increase your accuracy by 45. So if you're struggling to reach 200, just stick him in the lead and that's gonna help. Um, so A3 um, has a 100% chance of placing heal reduction for three turns and also has a 100% to put out um, two poisons for two turns. So that's a lot, a lot of Venom's age um, damage comes from that. And what's great as well, in his passive, um, if anyone's got heal reduction on they're going to do 15% less damage. That's great for waves and bosses. It's going to help you uh, have that survivability. Um, A2 has 70, oh no, 100% chance when fully booked to do big boy version of decreased defense and 100% chance of uh, decreased attacks for two, for two turns for both of these skills. Um, so decreased defense, that's going to speed up the damage you do to the waves and the bosses. And decreased defense is just going to reduce the damage they do to you, but also really important for the boss, um, especially Ice Golem. So when Ice Golem's hitting you, he's going to be doing so much less damage and it's going to help you survive. Um, A1, don't really care about the, um, you know, reducing the target's max HP, but... What's great on his A1 is each hit has a third, well, so 50% chance when fully booked of um, activating two poison debuffs on the target. So um, they're sort of like mini poison explosions. So that's really going to help you uh, go through the waves and through the boss really, really quick. So really, really, really amazing kit. Masteries. So we've gone for accuracy with more accuracy. Um, this is just in there. So basically every time you get a kill, that's going to help um, heal you up and keep your HP topped up. Um, Basically, this is just to keep our turn meter going and keep us nice and fast. Laura Steel, just to boost our stats. A cycle of Magic, hopefully to put a cooldown on the A3 so we throw out some more poisons. Uh, Spirit Haste, so basically you bring in food or if your champions die and just get you to the boss really quick, um, you know, that's going to increase your speed. So that's just really good to have. And then Master Hexar, and we just want to increase our poisons and all those other wonderful debuffs that Venomage bring out. This is absolutely essential on him. And yeah, that's just going to really help increase our damage and just speed things up and keep things super safe for us. Uh, so we want crit rate, uh, crit damage. And basically every time we kill, oh, sorry, every time we get a kill, three kills and you're going to get an extra 18 speed. Life drinker, keep our HP topped up. Damage, damage. And then war master for the boss. So just before we talk about where to use Venomage, let's talk about where not to use Venomage. So Arena, no good. Um, Fire Knight, Spider, definitely not. There are way better options out there, so definitely don't use him for that. Um, and Hydra, unfortunately, Poison doesn't work very well there. 
and the rest of his kit it's not really going to benefit you for hydra you know for hydra you want revives you want block debuffs you want slows you want hp burn and all other kinds of stuff so his kit is not suited for hydra so he is great for clan boss he can really pump out some big numbers for you great for ice golem 20 and 24 and also you can solo minotaur and there's a whole bunch of other content you can use him for um, so I'm just going to go through some screenshots and then we'll watch him in action as well. So this is the Ice Golem 20 speed run. Um, so Venomage isn't going to be doing anything for the first and second wave. It is literally about the nukes, the big guns doing all the work. So um, yeah, we've got Trunda, we've got Draco, we've got Gaius, Gaius even, and Constantine. Obviously they're all legendaries and they're amazing champions, but you can use any magic nuke as you want. The only ones I'd say that I would avoid are Royal Guards because I've always found in the past they have caused me to do a wipe on the boss just because they can trigger him. So I always think, I don't know, I'm just not a fan of bringing Royal Guards in for it, to be honest. Um, so yeah, basically we got to the boss in 35 seconds, so that's really, really fast. And now it's just all about Venom Age, just finishing on the boss. So as you can see, super safe run. Um, the only thing that is a little bit annoying is that Venom Age's um, decrease attack hasn't landed on the boss because that is one of the things that would be nice for it to land on him just so we have that survivability and we definitely don't wipe but I guarantee this run is 100% safe and yeah and this is what we want to happen we want these to sort of die on the way so Venom Age can just carry us on the boss so almost there 1 minute 15 1 minute 14 even not bad, not bad at all so we can see that Trunda has really outdone herself and done 1.8 mil damage. Uh, Draco, not bad as well, doing one mil as well, but also throwing out decreased defense and weaken on the enemies. So that's why Draco's in there. Venom H hasn't done a huge amount of damage, but if all those champions died on the way to the boss, Venom H can solo it so easily and it still be a super fast run. So I also did some testing on Ice Golem 24 as well. So um, this team was super quick. However, um, it does fail. I'd say it's probably like a 90% success rate. And for Ice Golem, I'd always recommend you want that 100%. So I did build this team, which is 100% success rate, but it's a lot slower at three minutes. Um, you just, Padmea is basically the key. You need to lock out her A1 on the boss. So she always keeps that uh, decrease attack on the boss. Um, oh yeah, and then everyone else will basically, you know, you'll get to the boss pretty quick and then everyone else will just sort of die and Padmea, Mithrala, and Venom Age will just stay at the end for the boss. So here it is, Secret Room 4. Oh my god, I never thought I was going to do this one. Uh, Lizard Men, epics only, so hard. And yeah, Venom Age did everything here. You can see she's done all the damage at uh, 1 million, and she's done a decent amount of healing as well, almost, you know, only 100k less than the other two. But she's doing all the work. Um, I've heard she can actually solo this. I've not tried it, but I, she probably can. Um, and also, um, if you're doing Faction Wars, like my original Faction Wars team, it was taking me like 10 minutes to do level 20 and 21. I guarantee if I put Venom Age in there, she would significantly, significantly uh, reduce the time massively. And he can also solo Minotaur, which is absolutely great if you're sort of mid to early game. Um, you know, two minutes is quite slow towards end game, but it's still pretty decent time. Um, if he'd brought in four champions, it'd probably be a bit quicker because obviously you're going to have more speed. So you'll be going faster and cycling through your abilities, doing more damage. But um, this is a great way to level up your champions and get their masteries done at the same time. This is the Dragon 20 solo run with Venom Age. Um, so we've got our food on the side. So this is a great thing to do if there's like a training tournament and a dragon tournament running at the same time and dungeon divers so that way you can like triple dip and just get all those points and not use that much energy so it's really efficient really good way to do it um so as you can see venom age is just uh going to be picking them off slowly but surely one by one um it's great that that hill reduction's on there because that's going to stop apothecary keeping the um the troops health up and as you can see we're starting to slowly pick them off uh one by one and that poison from the A3 is that's that's where all our damage is coming from and it's really helping us. Um, so what we'll do is we're going to skip the second wave, go to the boss. Okay, so we've easily made it onto the boss. 
and now it's time for Venom Age to shine. Um, so poisons absolutely melt the Dragon Boss, and you'll see that in a moment. They're just going to start popping off, and the HP is going to start dropping super quick. Um, absolutely, it's amazing to watch, and it is just insane mechanic. So um, that decreased attack is going to help us stay alive, and um, we're a bit unfortunate there. We actually caught two stuns, uh, considering how much resistance we have. That's quite shocking. But hey ho, it sometimes that's the way it goes. So as you can see, we've almost got the dragon down in no time at all, and our HP is never going to drop below fifty percent. It is super safe, and it's not super quick, but it's not bad either. Three minutes. Um, for this is a decent, decent time. So yeah, and as you can see, Venom Age all by himself, four mil damage. What an absolute beast! So as you can see, guys, <laughs> Venom Age he can do it all. He is an absolute beast. Um, if you're early to mid game, you are six star in him, no questions asked. He is definitely worth the investment. Um, even if you're sort of end game like myself. Uh, my account's not super stacked, but it's not bad either. He's, I'm going to be using him in the future. Like, even still, he is such a great champion. Um, I would love to know, is there any part of the game that I've missed that you feel that you could use him in? Um, how would you guys gear him? How would you do his masteries? Please drop me a comment because I'd love to know how you guys would do it. And um, also, I'm looking to do some more champion guides. So if there's any champions you would like me to do a guide that you can see that are in my account, please let me know and I'll definitely do a video on it. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.